hi everyone hope you're well and you're happy so in this video we're doing something that we've never done before we are going back to the basics so this will be basics right from the beginning i'll be covering the essential tools that you need to know about the tools and materials that i use for every single project how to use a drill the different kinds of wood so it will be a full-on series on a lot of speaking and there'll be less building but there'll be a lot of demonstration so this is going to help you a lot especially if you're starting out even if when you're advanced it's also good for you to just refresh and the basic things and just basic principles so you will definitely learn how to use the basic of the basic of the tool so the first tool that we're going to cover first is the drill what is a drill so a drill let me show you a drill there's two different kinds of drill in terms of uh, functionality and power so i have this is what we call a cordless drill so this one this drill here is battery operated as you can see so this one you just need to charge the battery and then plug and play so this is your first kind of drill so the second drill is your corded drill so this one you need to plug it on a power source um way right on the socket of the power source and make sure that it's functional what i can say is that there's different functionality of each so what i advise is that choose which one is best for you and you, as you always know there's a price difference and in this this is more convenient because you can just carry it around and then just use it and in this you need to be on a specific uh, place so i prefer this because you see where i shoot there is no closest power source so this makes sense for me we live in south africa and electricity is not the the most stable so this might not work for you you might have to you know schedule your times depending on if you have power or not and there's a price difference between the two so if you can afford uh something more expensive this is what you can lean on to and then if you want to start off this is also perfect as well it works perfectly fine the only thing is that you just need to plug it on the power source so for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll be using this drill here, which is a, um, a cordless drill and which is battery operated. So stick around and like this video, share this video with someone who needs advice when it comes to you know, buying a drill. Trust me, it gets so confusing because you don't know what kind of a drill to buy. So the first tip that I'm going to advise, there's a lot of different kinds of drill um, in the shops. There's your affordable ones there's your powerful ones there's your um you know more expensive one so there's many different kinds so you just need to find what will work for you so the first tip that i can give you how often are you going to be using a drill that's the first thing that uh we have to cover establish how often are you going to be using a drill because it gives you an opportunity to know uh the durability of the kind of drill that you'll be using and then the second question that you have to ask is what sort of materials will you be drilling on that will determine the power of the of your of your drill so basically um as we start off so that's a gauging factor so if i can say that i need my drill is like basically an everyday use drill so you will not you know have the same thing and there are people who just want to start off and i'll show you different kind of drills when you're just starting off and also entry level drills advanced and also um you know high level drills so we're gonna you know to be honest with you let me just put this disclaimer yes i'll be giving you all the names and everything but over time you will not even use the different names you'll be calling it this thing <laughs> so if you have your drill take out your drill and then so you'll be following the steps on how to use the specific drill and then if you are yet to buy a drill leave down in the comment section that you know you need advice on um, a drill to buy and all of that so let's get ready to learn how to use a drill first thing that i'm going to show you is how to use a battery so this is the lithium battery so you can see it's a 20 volt lithium battery so with this battery is that you need to charge it so you need um, a charger that comes with it so this is the charger which you plug onto the wall circuit so you charge this in this manner so please note that depending on the brand of the of the drill that you use the charging system may be a bit different so it's just like that you just need to hold it like that and make sure that it's charging Different kinds of batteries that that you can find there's your 12 volt there's an 18 volt it depends on the strength of the battery so to put in the battery this is how you do it you just plug it in and then it's locked so and then if you want to take it out there's a button here that you press so when you press this button here you just need to push it in and push it out and then that's it 
So now you've just separated the battery and then to put it in, just click. You will hear a click coming up. It's always advisable that you have maybe two sets of these batteries so that you're able to charge the other one while you use the other one. So just plug and play and then that's it. You know, all things are not made equal. So by that, I mean that some drills have a bit of weight on them. So when you go to the store, I would prefer that if you want to buy a drill online, first go to the store, feel how it is on the hand because most people have tiny hands and then this may be a bit, the grip may be a bit heavier than the anticipated, depending on the size of the mechanism and, and the battery as well. So my best advice is that go ahead, go to the hardware store, go feel the battery, sorry, go feel the drill and feel how it is and how it feels on your hand. And then that's when you'll be able to know if you made a good decision or not. So I don't want you to be buying something which will be way heavier than you anticipated. So the first thing that we're going to be discussing first is um, the grip. So this is just a hand grip. So there's, there's no terminology on this. So this is where you grip your draw. So this is where you hold it. You do not hold it here. You hold it here so that you can have functionality. So I'm left-handed. So normally if I'm left-handed, I use my left hand to hold the drill in this manner. So if you're right-handed, you'll be using it on the other way. So that's how it is. We're going to talk about the different parts of the drill. So the first part we're going to talk about is a trigger. So this is a trigger. This portion here, this button here is a trigger. What a trigger does, you will hear the sound on the background. I'm going to share you. It basically gives authority so that you're able to spin um, the many different parts of the, so that your drill basically works. So this is your trigger. You open it up. That's how it is. You press it in and then you're able to control at how much power you can give it. So if I press lightly, you see the motion is not as um, crazy but if i push it in you hear that so if i push it in so if i push it in you're gonna hear that the strength of the trigger depending on how far in i go see so if i go lightly this is how it sounds can you see so i'll show you the many reason why we do that so we've covered the trigger so the next thing you do most drills have this light here so this is a very functional light it actually helps you in events where you know you are in a tight corner and you're putting on something so it's basically a nice fancy flashlight so you find this functionality most drills may have it and other drills drills may not have it so don't worry too much about that so the next thing that we're going to talk about is is the forward and reverse button so this button here this is the forward and reverse button so this basically let me tell you how this functions the forward button it means that so i'm left-handed where each time i hold my drill and then i push it in and out there's always an error if you can see there there's always an error this area is facing that way and then at the back of this if i push it in this arrow is facing that way so if i'm holding my drill like this so if i'm holding my drill like this if i want to go in inside a screw so i need to push it in down like that so it means that my motion will be going down so if for example i want to revert do a reverse motion what i need to do is to push it in upwards so this is me going on reverse so each time the button is upwards it's on reverse so it gets a bit tricky i remember when i was starting out i used to get so frustrated why my screw is not going in it's because this is the one button that you need to be very careful of so it's a forward so this this is the forward motion where you are able to go down and put a screw down and then if you push it in that way you are able let me show you how it is in this angle in this motion it means that i'm able to put if i put it that way it means my screws will be going down and then if i push it in that way it means i'll be taking out my screw i'll show you a demonstration of how it works so this is a part that you really need to master because it gets really confusing as a first timer you may be frustrated but why are my screws not going in this is because of that reverse and forward motion with the forward and reverse motion so let me show you how it is so with your forward and reverse motion so what you need to bear in mind is that if it's right in the middle 
it means that your drill is safe. So what it basically means is that you're not able to use the trigger. If you have kids and you know you just want to keep it safe so it doesn't roll around, so you put the trigger right in the middle. You can see it's right in the middle. So you, if you press the trigger, it's not going to do anything. So that's another, another thing that you must look out for. So now that we've covered that, now we are coming to the entire mechanism. So this is the, the entire mechanism of the system. I advise that don't take this in with water. Don't put water into this because this is the whole mechanism. So this is the brain of the drill. So basically don't mess around with this. And if you drop it, just make sure that you, you know, it doesn't land on this side. Rather it lands in other ways, but it mustn't land on the brain of the drill, if I can call it that. We're going to be discussing the chuck. So this portion here, it's called the chuck. This is the chuck. This whole thing here. They call it a chuck. And what a chuck does, close in your chuck this way. You're going to be seeing um, nice teeth, three portions of teeth. So what those teeth does, those are basically your grips. They grip a drill bit. I'll show you in a demonstration what it means. So if I'm opening it up, it means that I'm allowing a way so that I'm able to put in a drill bit. And then when I close it off, let me show you in this way. When I close it off, it means that I'm, I'm tightening it up. So you open it up and then so you are able to take out your drill bit. And then if you want to close it up, you just put it in. Make sure that the teeth are lined in a perfect manner. Then you close it off. That's it. That's how easy it is. So this is your chuck. So, you know, to be honest with you, you will not be calling this by name as how I'm explaining, but I'm just putting it as reference so that you know which part is which in case you want to show someone. So we'll discuss what this part is that I'm putting in. So basically this is a drill driver. So drill bit driver. So the drill bit driver is what you use to hold on. So not only this part is used to hold on the chuck. So there's many different other parts which you are able to hold on to the chuck. So you can put in your drill bits, you can put in your drill spade. So there's many different options on what the chuck is. So the chuck basically, it holds your thing. So the easiest way to opening the chuck, this is how I need to show you. You can do it in many different, you can do it manually, and this is you tightening up the chuck. This is you, you can see the teeth will be coming up. So this is when you are tightening up the port motion. So if the chuck in this manner, it's tightened up. So it means that your drill bit or whatever you're, you're gonna use is tight and secure. So if you wanna open it up, you do it in another manner. So there's another tricky way, an interesting way on how you can close this quickly. So, but I don't recommend it if you're starting out because you're going to burn your fingers. So what you do is just hold your chuck and then pushing your trigger. You see, that's how easy it is. So it's quick, but don't do it if you're not confident because you're gonna burn your hands, especially when this is moving. And then if you wanna do the other way right back, put it in reverse, push that, and then that's it. That's how you open the trigger. So that's another tip. So just be careful on that motion when you're doing it. The next thing that we're gonna be discussing is your clutch. So this is not a car clutch, but it's a clutch. <laughs> see <laughs> many different variations of numbers some drills will be you know a one up to 10 others for my one it's one up to 18 so this is the strength of how deep and how powerful your drill is going to be so for example if you are working with softwood i don't recommend that um i'll give you a demonstration i don't recommend that you go for a powerful one because your wood is going to split so if you're going for something which is Let's say you're drilling on a wall. I would prefer that you go on a you know, more powerful setting. So I'll show you a demonstration of another drill. This is how it is. So other drills, their numbers, this is another drill. So they have a number up to 21. Can you see? The numbers vary depending on the power of it. So this is an 18 volt battery. You can see there, it's an 18 volt lithium battery. And then it's up to 21. So there's many different variations on how you can go, come about with this. The next thing that we're going to be covering is the functionality. So you have your drill functionality and you have a hammer functionality. So let me show you how it is. So this portion here. So this is your 
hammer functionality. So this is the strength where you want to use as much power as possible. Let's say you want to pound it on a wall or something. That's the hammer function functionality. And then if you want something simple and simple, this is a screw. So this is the screw functionality where you'll be using a screw to put, basically putting in a screw on a wood. And then the next functionality is a drill bit functionality. And then you'll see there's an error which is pointing, which is showing you which functionality is you're using for that moment. So this is the drill bit functionality. So I'll show you all this um, other options when you go ahead. So the next thing that we're going to be talking about is a gear selector. So this portion here, this is what we call a gear selector. So there's number one and number two. So as logic says, so number one will be your least powerful one and then the second one will be your most powerful one. So this controls the power of how your drill spins. So if you put it on one, for example, it's going to let me show you. If you put it on a one, the strength will not be as much as you put it on two. So if you put it on two, there will be more resilience and more power onto it. So this is your trigger option. So you know what? Over time, depending on if I'm working with soft wood, I always make sure that, um, you know, if it's hard wood or you're drilling on something powerful, put it in the second option. And then if it's something soft, the first gear option will be fine. Right at this moment, we've covered most of the options of the drill there's nothing hectic the only thing that you need to do is just to feel comfortable holding your drill just feel comfortable holding your drill and if you think you feel like your drill is too heavy go ahead and buy something which is a bit lighter and then i'm going to be doing some demonstrations and i'll show you the different accessories to use when you're using a drill so we've covered most of the functionality of a drill. So go ahead and try all the steps that I showed you through. And let me know down in the comment section, you know, what discoveries you come across. And, you know, don't be afraid on, you know, working a drill. So don't be afraid. So each time you have a drill, you know, be comfortable when you're working with a drill. Be safe when you're working with a drill. You will see the amazing projects that you'll be making with just one simple power tool. So don't be afraid of this. This is not going to bite you, but just make sure that you're always, always safe when you're using this and you know what is happening. So the next stage that we're going to be talking, we'll talk about, you know, the other different functionalities, the different drill bits that you have, the other accessories that, you know, you can apply onto the drill. So um, go ahead and comment down below and let me know, you know, the value that this video has given you. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. So we'll be going, this is us going back to the beginner. We'll call it the going back to basics beginner series. So this is us starting afresh and then you'll be able to feel comfortable and confident as well as you use the drill. So, you know, practice, practice, practice and do not be afraid of anything you can achieve it you can do it put your mind to it and you can do it as well so thank you so much for your love and your support and until next time cheers bye